what it is what it do i made one and in this video i'm gonna show you how you can watch movies online for free now i'm not exactly 100 percent sure how to say the name of this website so if i butcher it i apologize but the website that you want to go to is called kangkalai.com and i'll also leave a link to this website in the description so you don't have to worry about trying to spell that correctly now this website doesn't have every single movie that was ever made but it does have a ton of movies and it adds new movies to its database almost every day. Now, if you look towards the top, you can see the tab that says home, which is the home page of this website. You also see a tab that says in cinema. And if you click on in cinema, it'll bring you to a list of movies that are currently in theaters. But usually when it comes to movies that are still in theaters, most of the time the quality suffers a bit. It kind of looks like somebody brought a camera into the movie theater and recorded it that way. But the good thing about this website is that movies get updated all the time. So usually around a month or two after a movie has came out in theaters, it gets updated and it has a lot better quality. And as for all the other movies, I've never came across a movie that had bad quality that wasn't still in theaters. So I'd say about 80 to 90% of all the movies on this website have great quality. The only ones that don't are the movies that have just came out. And again, like I said, they get updated all the time. So if one of the new movies does have bad quality, then just wait another couple weeks or a month or so, and it should get updated with better quality. Anyways, I've been using this website to watch a lot of movies lately. I think I watched X-Men Days of Future Past the other day, which was a great movie with great quality. I also watched Predestination and The Signal, which honestly, I didn't think I was going to like either of those movies, but I kind of ended up liking both. And if you've never seen Predestination, my goodness, your brain will feel like a pretzel by the time you finish watching that movie. I'm trying to think of some other movies I watched. I also watched The Loft, and The Loft came out literally like a month or two ago, and the quality in that movie is great. Literally looks like an HD DVD copy. Anyways, back to the website. If you want to try watching the movies that are still in theaters, all you have to do is click on the tab at the top that says In Cinema. They also add more and more movies to their database each day, whether it's a brand new movie or not. And in order to check the latest added movies, all you have to do is click on the tab at the top that says Latest Added. If there's a specific movie that you want to see, all you have to do is type it in the search bar and click Search. But if you don't have an idea as to what movie you want to watch, then you can just scroll through their selections by clicking on recent or top rated or by clicking on one of the genres that you're most interested in. Anyways, after you've selected the movie that you want to watch, all you have to do is scroll down and click play. There's no sign up or registration required. And in my experience, I didn't have any pop up ads, which I know a lot of y'all probably want to avoid. Now, normally I don't upload videos like this but I found this website to be extremely useful and I wanted to share it with you guys. So if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit that like button to let other people know about it as well. I'm A1, thanks for watching.